give the Lord a good act of praise this morning. Hallelujah. Thank God for being in his house once again. Hallelujah. Come get more of Jesus. How many know we need more of Jesus this morning? Come on and give the Lord a good account for praise. How many can say you're glad to be in the house this morning? Another chance, another opportunity. Hallelujah. To gather in. Hallelujah. Come on and bless the Lord real good today. Hallelujah. But truly, he is a mighty good God this morning. He is our awesome Savior this morning. Come on and love the Lord this morning. Thank you. 
Amen. Amen. Town ladies, sister. Yeah, but today, amen. We will report us the situation. We give honor to our mothers on this morning. Thank you, the house of God. And all the ministers of the gospel, thank God for the minister, brother, sister, heal. We have the ministers and all these. Thank God for my wife this morning. Amen. And the visitors we have, we, amen. Thank God. Amen. It's just Sister Tina with us again today. And thank God for the other man with her. Amen. Most of all, thank God Jesus is here. Amen. No matter who we are, Jesus is here. And he's here. He's here yeah. with two or three together in his name. He'd be in the midst. Yeah. Oh, he's with us this morning. Glory to God. And if we just never forget that, amen. We'll reach out, amen. amen. Glory to God if we come to receive something from him today. We do thank God for the service this morning. Thank God for the prayer. Thank God for that praise. Once again, amen. Sister Faith. We forget how to give our hands to us this morning. Thank God for, amen, Brother Evans, over the usher board. Amen. Thank God for him. All of the children, those the men, sister, men and sister, door, amen. Teaching our kids so that the fellowship are, amen. So just thank God for all the labors, amen. Now come on, give Jesus one more praise this morning. I mean, it happened to be in the house of the Lord. Ah, how many woke up this morning so I can't wait to get to church. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank God. We thank God for what He's doing and what He's going to do. Amen. So we just going to amen. move on into the service and receive testimony. A few testimonies this morning. Amen. The Lord can have this word. Just thank God for how He's just blessing and keeping us all. Amen. We're going to start it off. Thank God. Sister Mia. Let me say, Sister Michelle. Come on. Come on. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. I just want to thank God for what he done for me on last, on last Sunday. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, last Sunday, when that man of God was preaching, you know, that man, he came with a word that if you didn't get something, something wrong with you. And when he prayed for me, and I know it had to be the enemy got so mad because it had to happen at the same time that that man laid hands on me. The devil attacked my baby over there across the street and made him hit his head on one of those poles over there and it busted his head wide open. And I don't think his spirit was so high at that time. I don't think nobody knew what was going on, but he had a cut from the top of his head to right between his eyes. And he was just crying. And mama, come back. she was waiting for me to come back there. And um, when I saw him in the car, he just had blood all over him. And all I could think about was, Lord, Lord, just help him. I know he in pain. And so I said, I'm going to take him to the doctor because it was so big of a gash. I couldn't just leave it open. So I said, I'm going to take him in for prayer first because the power of God was so high in here. I said, if I could just let him get some prayer and I'll take him on. I believe God ain't nothing going to be wrong with him. And so the man prayed for him and I took him on and he was just crying. So as you were crying. And I was like, just all I can think of and I got in the waiting room. All I could think of was uh, the song, Oh, the Blood. And that song was already stirring in our spirit because we were supposed to sing that song, but we didn't sing it. And so I was just in the waiting room and I was just singing, Oh, the Blood of Jesus. Oh, the Blood of Jesus. Just calm them down, calm them down. There were so many people in there and they weren't even rushing, you know, to try to. You just don't sit there and have to wait. And they got to be your faith that helped you to go through burdens and trials. 
And I know my mama, because I'm an up to you, I always say, you're going to see one day. When you have kids, you're going to see one day. And um, he finally come down, and he was trying to go to sleep. And I was like, Lord, I don't want to go to sleep, because they say when you have a head, hit your head or something, you're not supposed to let you know, who have gone to sleep, but he was so drained from crying. And I just said, Lord, cover him, cover him, Lord, cover him, Lord. So he went to sleep and we stayed out there. It was about two hours before we even went to the back. And um, he, he woke up when we got to the back to the room and he was laying in the bed and he looked over at me and he said, Mom, I wanna watch cartoons. So I said, okay. <laughs> I said, okay, he comes around and he had a little tag on his shirt that was aggravating him on the side. He said, mom, I need some scissors. He got to talking to me. I said, okay, God, <laughs> you know, let him be all right. Just let him be all right. Yeah, I said, well, baby, I ain't got no scissors. I said, you just gonna have to ask the doctor for something when he come in here. And sure enough, I thought he wasn't gonna think about it. The doctor walked in the room, he said, doctor. <laughs> I need your scissors. <laughs> I said, thank you, Lord, like that. That doctor looked at me so crazy. <laughs> you don't know the prayers I've been praying. And he said, buddy, okay, I got some scissors for you. And he cut his tag off. And he said, he looked at me, he said, I think he all right. We just going to put these liquid band-aids up there and he can go on home. I said, God, I thank you. <laughs> You know, when God, you trying to get a breakthrough, the enemy get mad. He don't want you to let go of stuff that you dealing with. He wants you to let it stay on your mind and stay everything. I said, Lord, I thank you, Jesus. Because in the midst, when the enemy was trying to attack, God still prevailed and made a way for my baby. And I thank God for that on today. And that, it just made me think about how even when he was in my stomach, and I, I don't know if y'all remember, I was over there singing, and I was pregnant with him, and I was singing, and I just started bleeding. And it's like the enemy had been trying to attack my child for so long, but God got a hold on him. And I just thank God for his covering. I thank God for his blood. I thank God for what he's doing for me. Hallelujah, I thank God for what he's doing for me. In my family, and my brother, one of my brothers, it's like the enemy attacking all of them, and I'm just like, God, God, hallelujah, Jesus. My other brother, Steve, he came to the house yesterday, and he just been dealing with his pressure on his chest. He's, he keeps saying he, he can't hardly breathe. He can't hardly breathe. And he came over yesterday, and he went home. And it wasn't even 10 minutes before he got home and called back. He said, shit, I'm about to bring to Leo back. He said, I got to go to the hospital. He said, I can't breathe, and it just hurt more and more and more. And he went to the hospital last night from 6.30, and he didn't leave until 6 o'clock this morning. And people don't get in no rush for you. That's why you're paralyzed. And your faith, you got to have it. And they told him that he had inflammation on his lung from being, he's been working at Qualico for so long, and I guess all that stuff has got in his lungs. But y'all just keep him in your prayers. Keep him in your prayers. Because I know God is a healer, and I didn't mean to take up so much time, but I just thank God for what he's doing for me, and I ask y'all to keep my family and everybody in prayer, and I do the same for you all. Come on, give God praise. Thank God. Amen. You lift up the standard. Amen. God is good. Amen. Anybody that's got a testimony? Amen. Amen. Call. Thank you, Jim. My sister, April. She come. Give us testimony. So let's say just thank God for her. God for her. Morning. Miss Owl, amen. amen. Truly the Lord is moving by his spirit. Praise God. He's doing the work. Amen. amen. I have
Praise God. Okay. All right. We're going to ask the choir to come quickly. We're going to render amen section this morning before we move forward. Amen. So if you have another choir members, amen. Go ahead and come at this time. Thank you, Jesus.
to lose this power. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Oh, come on. Let's just stand to your feet just a few minutes and just give God praise. Amen. Thank you for his blood. Thank God for his blood. Hallelujah, Jesus. Glory to God. Always lift it up a step. Hallelujah. You can be by the enemy. He enough the devil. Glory to God. That same blood washes us clean. Thank God for the blood of Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank God for the blood. Blood of Jesus. Praise God. Praise God. We thank God. Amen. The devil loses power. Praise God. We appreciate the Lord. We're just going to get ready to receive the offerings. 